Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna be watching Lost season two, episode 24, aka the finale, aka Live Together Dialogue part two. I'm so excited. As you know, I just finished watching episode 23 and I cannot wait to see how the season will end. The button not getting pushed possibly, us fighting against the others, maybe figuring some stuff out about them. You know, Kate brought up again the fact that they're just pretending to be hillbillies, but they're actually scientists and military personnel maybe. I guess that could even work with like the Clancy Brown reveal from the previous episode. Like maybe half of these people are scientists and the other half are like actual military soldiers or something along those lines. So yeah, I'm excited for our fight against them. Maybe also figuring out why they wanted those four characters, like why they wrote them on the list. Could be cool. I don't know if we're gonna get that answer just yet but it'd be awesome if we did because I'm so curious about that. So yeah, I think this is gonna be an epic finale. I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen. So if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And let's just get into it. Here it is. Told you. Careful. Careful. <gasps> Oh my god, we're gonna blow it up? That's such a bad idea, Echo. You can also just blow up the computer as well. What if we hurt them? Or, or blow up the computer? You can leave now, Charlie. Oh, Echo, you're going a little cray cray. Let's work this thing out, John. John! Oh, just tell him he has a bomb. No, Echo is gonna blow open the blast door. Blow it open with what? Dynamite. But also a blast door. Wouldn't that mean that it can be blown open? You're sure it'll hold? I'm sure. Have you tried blowing it up before? <gasps> We're still doing a Desmond flashback? That's so cool. Three, two, one. <gasps> Wait, it was Clancy Brown who did the map? How do you even remember where you left off from? Slowly, Des. Very, very slowly. Oh my god, he drew that without seeing it? That's impressive as hell. Yeah, you should have seen Rosinski do this. He had a photographic memory. I mean, this whole baby was his idea. Oh, I hope we can meet him at one point. You never want to tell me what bloody well happened to him. See that brown stain there? Is that his blood? That's Rosinski. Oh, did he, you know? <laughs> he put a shotgun in his mouth when I was asleep. Jeez, man. Why didn't they just leave? The bitch of it was, I only had 108 minutes to bury the poor bastard. Oh my god. Oh, you want to go out there with the quarantine and the hostels? I haven't been outside for two bloody hostels? years. Yes, I want to go. I was in the army, for God's sake. Oh, right. Her Majesty's army, correct? <laughs> Why'd you leave that nice old lady's army? Oh, I remember now. You got kicked out because you couldn't follow orders. And why did you leave your army, Calvin, huh? Oh, Calvin. Good to know his name. Because men followed my orders. God, what does that mean? God, I joined the Dharma Initiative. Namaste, thank you, and good luck. I knew it. He's here out of his own free will. Well, kind of, probably. Let me go out. Sorry, Des. You stay here. You push the button. That's an order. Christ, but like, why can't he go out? Especially if he has the shot. Couldn't he just leave? And like the hostels are the others, I'm guessing. So they definitely are not Dharma, but they are something, but what? You know, it's just some old computer connected to nothing. Maybe it's just a bunch of wires that... Oh. Is that it? Well, no, but like, maybe again, you shouldn't be blowing shit up here. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Honestly, smart, Charlie. Leave this insanity behind you. Open the door and I will forgive you. <laughs> forgive me for what? <laughs> His fucking face is so funny. It's like, forgive me? Bitch, who asked for your forgiveness? I don't, I don't think it's a good idea, Echo. We're in a very confined area. Okay, too late, too late. Either step on it or just run away. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, yeah, bloody hell. It's a bloody hell situation. Oh my god, is he fucking dead? 
Oh my god, Echo, did you just kill Charlie? I was like, what is he thinking? Like, again, what is he thinking? It's called a blast door. I don't think it's gonna blast open. I think it's designed to prevent such a thing. Um, where is he? What the hell is this place? I couldn't do it. Do what? System termination? What is this? This is the only other way out, partner. What are you talking about? Fail safe. Just turn his key and this all goes away. And that's better how? What was the incident? Yes, Kevin. magnetism. <gasps> Geologically okay. unique. Okay. There was a leak. So now the charge builds up and every time we push the button, it discharges it. Before it gets too big. Do we believe this then? You have the courage to take your finger out of the dam and blow the whole thing up instead. Uh, I don't think he does. Also, why didn't the guy who killed himself done this? He could have been like, hey, Calvin, get out. I'm gonna kill myself anyway, so might as well just do some good while doing it. I thought it was my destiny to get into this place. And, and somebody died, a, a kid, because he was stupid enough to believe that I knew what I was talking about. And on the night that he died for nothing, I was sitting right up there, all alone, beating my hand bloody against that stupid door, screaming to the heavens, asking what I should do. And then a light went on. I thought it was a sign. No, it was just Desmond going to the bathroom. But it wasn't a sign. Probably just you going to the bathroom. <laughs> get out of my headlock. Also, I don't get Desmond. So like he got like an actual answer as to what's happening here and why you need to push the button. Why is he suddenly believing Locke in that video? Okay, I still can't believe our rescue operation is just Saeed. Like why couldn't we bring any more fighters with us? <gasps> it's all gone. Because it really was just a performance? <laughs> Was it walled up? Yeah, I saw it correctly. Holy shit, it's all fake? What is going on? Oh my god, I'm fucking stressed. What the hell? Are those fish? No, not fish. Are those the messages we've been sending? Oh, yeah, the tube. That's where it comes out at? Handwritten. I don't understand. Filled, the whole book. So the books don't go anywhere? That's miles from here. Where were you taking us? What? Saeed said he'd like the signal so that we could meet him at the shore. Why aren't we going to the beach? We are headed to the we're beach. We're nowhere near the beach! I had to! What? <gasps> oh, God! <gasps> oh, so I... oh, 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 for fuck's sakes, we're getting kidnapped. Run! Go! I think go! it's too late. Oh, sweetie Hurley! Dude, what the fuck was in that thing that he got shot with? Oh my god, we got screwed so hard! <gasps> there they are! Oh. I'm so excited, I'm loving this! I'm so sorry, I'm having such a good time! Two men sat in viewing chairs and filled notebooks with observations on what happens in here. And then they yeah, put the but... notebooks in pneumatic tubes that sent them back to their headquarters. No, he sent them to a fucking field. So they could evaluate us as an experiment. Maybe the experiment was the people who were sitting there taking notes. That was the fake station. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? What if you've got it backwards? Backwards? What if the experiment wasn't on the two men in here, but on the two men in there? Look, I want to see that tape, John. That's what I'm saying. But does. Is he not coming back? Goodbye. See you in a couple hours. Yeah, right, man. <gasps> oh, shit. Are you not gonna tell him about the hole? Oh, shit. Oh, he's faking. He's not even using the mask and any of that. <gasps> that little liar. 
Um, where the hell did it disappear to? Is that like another hatch it goes to? Oh, the boat. Your boat. Well, gosh, I didn't think you had the stones to come after. Shit. You were leaving? Well, I mean, not yet. She's still about a week away. You wrecked a pretty good, Des. You are gonna leave Des behind? What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, now you ask him. Sure. What about the button? Screw the button, man. Who knows if it's even real? I saw what you say with you were going on and on about dams and electromagnetics and, and fail safe. Well, I was drunk. I don't know what to believe anymore. Why did you lie to me? I lied to you because I needed a sucker to save the world after I left. You crazy, you bastard. Oh, come on. You stole my life. What else did you lie to me about? Huh? What else? Tell me! Oh god, Desmond's gonna kill him, isn't he? That's how he dies? Oh, could you do Oh, I think you killed him. I heard his neck snap or his skull break. I heard something. Is he just trying to get Locke to believe again? Like, what is this? When did you come here? How long ago? 60, 65 days. What the date? What was the date? September 22nd. It was September 22nd. I think I crashed your plane. I haven't breathed in like a solid minute. Oh my fucking god. I'm overwhelmed. Like, what am I even watching right now? This is too much. Hey! Everybody just calm down. I can't. I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. She says she knows your beard's fake, Tom. Thanks Tom? For putting that out, Kate. I can't tell you how much this thing itches. And thanks for telling him my name, B. Is that the guy who was talking to Ethan in the Claire flashback episode? Is that Henry? Or whatever the fuck his name is? Oh, that's my baby boy! Yay, he's back! Why is he bare feet? No reason for the charades anymore. This music is stressing me out. Hello again. <laughs> Hi! Where's your beard? <laughs> Alright, let's take care of business, shall we? Oh god, are you gonna kill him? I, d I think they're gonna kill him, right? Live together, die alone. Michael betrayed them, he was alone. He's gonna die. I don't know, man. Nice to see Charlie alive. Yeah, there is an echo. No need to point that out. We need to push the button. No, we don't! Did you not hear me, brother? I crashed your bloody plane. How did you manage to do that? The electromagnetic thingy! Did your plane crash? It's real! It's all bloody real! Now push the damn I button! I know what I saw! It's a lie! It's not real! Maybe they lied in the video, man! You don't want to push the button? Then I will. No! <laughs> I know now what happens when we don't push it. We need to push it. You've killed us. Oh yeah, he did. You've killed us all? No. I just saved us all. I don't think you did, man. Maybe there's gonna be another plane coming any second now. Can you help me? I'm trying, brother. 
I'm trying, brother. I have some reading to do, okay? I have two whole minutes left to finish an entire book, okay? I'm very busy here, Charlie. Oh, wait. That means he wasn't pushing the button for that long on, on his own, right? I thought he said that he was pushing it for two years all on his own, but it was more like 40 days. I think it was around that time when we got into the hatch. Oh my god. She left him a little note. I'm writing this letter to you as you leave for prison. And I've hidden it in the one place you would turn to in a moment of great desperation. I know you go away with the weight of yeah. what happened on your sure. shoulders. Because all we really need to survive is one person who truly loves us. And you have her. Oh god. I will that's wait for you always. I love you. Pen. Oh, you really screwed yourself, Des. You could have been with her. You could have told her that you wrote to her. Oh, you silly, silly man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's waiting for you anymore. Because she just thinks you're dead. Um, is someone knocking? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's John. This is the moment when he turns the lights on. Listen, I thought maybe someone was trapped behind this bookshelf or something. This is crazy to see from the other side. <laughs> so he knew there were others out there. Why didn't you go out? Did you think that was God up there? <laughs> like, why didn't you just leave and look for the people? No, no, he's not gonna blow himself up in this place, right? That's not how this ends. Three days before you came down here, before we met, I heard a banging on the hatch door shouting. But it was you, John, wasn't it? You say there isn't any purpose. There's no such thing as fate. But you saved my life, brother, so that I could save yours. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, Desmond, don't do this. I've got to go, and you've got to get as far away from here as possible. Go where? Stop! I'm gonna blow the dam, John. No. I'm sorry for whatever happened that made you stop from leaving. But it's all real. Oh, I've gotta go and make it all go away. Wait. I liked him. I see you in another life, brother. I don't know how many times you can say that and for it to still be true. Oh god, don't get killed by a flying knife. Tom, run, please. Get out. Right, come with me. No, I don't. No, please, please. I don't want you to die. Oh, stop, it's too late! Get out! God, someone do something! I'm so scared! Oh my fucking god! I was wrong! <laughs> yeah, man, you think? I don't want him to die! All we really need to survive is one person who truly loves us. And you have her. I will wait for you. Always. I hate this show. This is so sad. How did they make me like him so much? It's such a short period of time. I love you, Penny. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? Oh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. We lived? Oh, good job, Desmond. Your sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Oh, God. Oh, Bernard! 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 <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh. What about Charlie and Echo and Locke? Like, that's too many deaths. There's no way they just killed that many people in one Facebook, right? Are they okay? Where are they? Oh, thank God. Charlie's okay. Where are the others? Where's Locke? Echo. Is that not back yet? No. What happened to them? <gasps> well, she's happy to see him, so that's awesome. I'm not happy about the arrangement that was made with you, Michael, but we got more than we bargained for when Walt joined us, so I suppose this is what's best. What? What? Is he in charge? We live up to our word, too. Really? 
Do you know how to drive a boat? Yeah, I can drive a boat. Good. Then you're going to take this boat and follow a compass bearing of 325. And if you do that exactly, you and your son will find rescue. What do you mean, rescue? I follow the bearing and me and my son get rescued. Yes. How do you know I won't tell people about where I was? Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but it won't matter. Once you leave, you'll never be able to get back here. And my hunch is you won't say a word to anybody, because if you do, people will find out what you did to get your son back. Oh my, I thought she's just leaving? He's leaving with Michael? I mean, with Bolt? I was promised you wouldn't hurt them. Deal's a deal. Yeah, he already heard them. Not to be pedantic, but he definitely already very much heard them. Who are you people? We're the good guys, Michael. Are you sure? Like, are you really, really sure? Bon voyage, Michael. Oh, he really is inside. Yes! Yeah. Come here. Come here. I mean, I'm happy for them, especially for Walt. Is this actually it? Are they gone for real? God, what do they want with Harley? Why Harley? Why Harley? You can go back to your camp. What? Like, why? Huh? Your job is to tell the rest of your people they can never come here. Huh? Why? What? Your friends are coming home with us. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Go. Are you kidding? I'm so overwhelmed I'm gonna th actually throw up. What? Any words of wisdom before you leave? Any prophecies of the future? I'm sorry. Why did she grab her boobs? Alex, what are you doing? I thought that's how it's gonna end. Dude, what do you mean they're taking them home? What happened out there, Charlie? I just go. You wanna hear the part about me nearly being killed by the flaming fireball or the flying flock? I want you to be serious. Nothing happened. Well, something happened. I mean, that noise and the sky turned that weird violet color. <laughs> violet? Was it not white? Oh, they're so cute. I love them. Oh, let's go. I've been waiting for this in season one. <laughs> what other reaction am I supposed to have to this? That's super cool. Okay, oh. bravo. Okay, this is not so the nice island, right? I thought we were on the island, just like a different part where it snows on it. I like to remind you what we did. Oh my god. Okay. Whatever we did, it showed up here. What do you mean, And Kong who? What is happening? I just... What's happening? Oh my god, it's Penny? Miss Whitmore. It's ours. What the fuck? What the fuck? I think we found it. I just, I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand. None of it. None of this. Whatever this was. I don't fucking know. What the fuck? Okay. I don't know. Like, what was any of this? I'm so confused. Like, I just... Huh? I didn't understand what happened. Okay, first of all. A lock and echo dead? Also, is Desmond dead? I think I just... Like, we just got him back. That was so sad. And it's like, is his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend behind his death, in a sense? Like, what, what is her connection to any of this? I'm so confused, guys. I'm genuinely so fucking confused. I don't understand any of this. Like, I just, I just, okay, okay. Let's try and think for a sec. I got nothing. <laughs> Not a single synopsis in my brain is firing. It's all just silent screaming. It's all just silent screaming because I don't understand what happened. Dude, like this is so insane. Okay, so the button was real and then the video that was shown to the guys who were supposed to take notes of the button was the fake thing. 
for what? Was someone else watching them watch the others? Like, I just so confusing. And then the fact that their notes went to nowhere, like that was truly for nothing is insane. And and like that's where the guys got kidnapped from and now they have Jack, Sawyer and Kate and they're bringing them home. Like what do you mean a home? Dude. Although the fact, sorry, it's just so funny how immediately was like, oh yeah, it makes sense. Somewhere on the sign and it's snowing. <laughs> like that was my first thought. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's definitely what's happening. Not that we're on like a completely different island or continent or wherever that hatch station is oh boy we learned so much information this past two episodes i'm genuinely so overwhelmed this was a crazy season i think i definitely preferred it over season one just because some of the what the fuck moments this season were just truly epic like i definitely enjoyed season one a lot and i loved the setup and the characters everything was awesome about it i really really loved it but season two just had so many insane moments just like us seeing the smoke monster and like that scene between it and echo was so good the flashbacks to claire were amazing us finding you know like being in the hatch then finding the map then finding the answer to the map and how that came to be and just all of it all of it this season was so good and so interesting and just like the addition of henry is fucking amazing i love that so so much i'm so happy he's still here and he came back and he seems to be running the show which makes no sense right because i know he probably lied about a lot while he was with us and the things he was saying where he was like oh you think zeke is scary you don't know the person who's in charge and like i'm terrified of them or something along those lines but it kind of felt like he was in charge at least maybe he's like a small boss like a mini boss and there's like a boss boss above him because if he's like the boss boss why was he the one who was going after Locke? Was that a lie? Maybe that was also a lie. Maybe everything was a lie. And like a lot of my theories I based on the things he said was just like dumb of me because I shouldn't have believed him on anything because, well, they didn't want luck. They didn't want him to come with them. They wanted Jack, Kate and Sawyer, which is so crazy. So like Hurley was always just like an extra guy so that they could send a message back. But... Why do you need to send a message back? I mean, I guess if they were to just kidnap the four of them without saying any words, people would come after them and look for them and try and rescue them. But maybe this way they won't. But I don't know why wouldn't they? Like, would they ever listen to them? I mean, I guess at this point we have Saeed and maybe that's it. Like maybe Jin as well, who could, you know, fight and have a chance of getting the three of them back. I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends if Echo and Locke are alive or not, because we don't know. Like, what a fucking cliffhanger to leave us on. Like, are they okay? Is Desmond dead? I'm so sad. And like, is she a part of it? Desmond's ex-girlfriend, Penny? I just like, what is going on? Like, actually, what is going on? I I don't even have a theory for that. Like, that's how batshit crazy that reveal was. I could I can't come up with anything (laughs) like not a single thing that would make any sort of fucking sense so yeah that's crazy I mean I'm guessing maybe the other station we saw is also dharma related or just straight up is dharma and she's a part of it somehow I don't know does she know where Desmond has been this whole time because there are cameras in there and do they just only feed into the Pearl Station or do they just go out somewhere else as well? I don't know, like, could other people see them? It's crazy. It's actually so crazy. Like, I was truly not expecting that. And like the whole Clancy Brown part, Calvin. Calvin was also part of Dharma. So like he left the military, I guess. I don't know, he said he's a spook. Isn't spook like a CIA operative? I thought spooks were like spies and not military people. So. He was a spy, then turned military, then turned into like a Dharma freelance contractor or something along those lines. So I don't know. His story was very interesting as well. Like I was not expecting him to show up on the fucking island and then for him to have been killed by Desmond, who then lied. Because I mean, either I misunderstood something or he actually just lied about how long he's been on his own in the hatch. 
I'm not 100% sure, like maybe I just misunderstood what he meant by that, but I really thought that he's been alone for years, but it seems like it's just been a couple of weeks at the most, and he crashed our plane. Let's just not forget about that little factoid that we learned. Like, what do you mean you crashed her plane? I guess we were flying above the island or its vicinity. And then when he didn't push the button and the electromagnetic shit was going off, that's when we were near. And then it fucked with the plane and then made us just crash. Ah, what the that's why we're here. That's so crazy. Dude, I can't believe the button was doing this. Like, that was its function. That's so crazy. I love it so much. Oh my god, I was not disappointed. I was not disappointed with that reveal. Like, that part with the plane crashing, ah, oh, so good. And, like, it has to be fate, right? Like, the fact that Jack was on the plane too, Libby was on the plane, and that the reason why Desmond didn't kill himself is because John showed up at the right time, and then now he was able to sacrifice himself to save the island, and then what the hell was that going white thing? Because, like, why does it... Okay, I don't know exactly what an electromagnetic pulse is. Like, that's an EMP, right? An EMP can knock out anything that's technological, right? Like, that's a thing. So, like, it messes with technology and, like, those type of systems. So, like, why would it make a noise? I mean, I guess the noise could have come from the explosion that was felt. And, like, what kind of expo what kind of explosion can destroy an EMP? I just don't get that, right? Because I guess Charlie left Echo behind, right? So I'm guessing he was a little further away when the explosion that Desmond did went off. But still, if it's like an actual... It didn't feel like an actual explosion, right? Because like it could be felt across the entire island. Like our group have been walking for like almost two days, right? To get where they were and they still felt the effect of the explosion and like everything turned white and like the sound. I don't know, man. It's so exciting though. Like I truly love this show. Like the mysteries are insane and just the twists keep coming and coming and like so many I can never even guess. Like there were stuff where I'm like, oh, I could see what would be like the best course of action, like with Henry, like guessing his story. It kind of makes sense to me. I'm like, okay, I, I can see what would make the best twist and the best storyline and like how it could all work. But then there are moments where I'm just like, oh, not even in my wildest dreams could I have ever dreamed something up like that. So yeah, this show is so fun. Like it's really the perfect balance of like being able to figure some stuff out, but then just be completely blindsided by a lot of the other stuff in it. Oh, oh my God. Also the whole, we're the good guys. Like, what do you mean, Henry? What do you mean? Are you sure? Like, are you sure? Because it seems like you're kidnapping people, maybe even murdering them. So like... Mm, I better see how they're the good guys. Although I guess if on the other side we have Dharma, maybe comparatively to them you're the good guys, but comparatively to us, y'all are not the good guys here. Like, why don't you just tell us what's going on? Like, what is it with all this cloak and dagger bullshit? Like, if they're, I don't know, against Dharma, because Dharma are doing some weird experiments and stuff, and it's like their fault that like this whole electromagnetic thing is even happening in the first place. Like, maybe they came here, they found it, they started messing with it, they fucked it up, and then now they had to like release the valves every 108 minutes, because if not, things would just explode. Like maybe the entire island could have been destroyed. Maybe the entire world. Like honestly, maybe they were saving the entire world because if the EMP got strong enough, maybe it could like fuck up the Earth's core or something. Like I don't know how that shit works. Like it broke a plane in half. So like, I don't know what else it could have done. And maybe that's what Henry was talking about. Like they're the good guys and not Dharma. But like, we kind of assume that Dharma are not good people, right? Because they clearly have means to give us food. And instead of like taking us out of here, they're just like, here, have some more cereal without milk. We love to torture you. Like, I just, I don't know, man. It's so interesting. And like, they're gonna go home with them. And I'm so happy I don't have to wait the three, four months that you guys who watched it live had to wait, cause that would kill me. Like, actually, I'm just dying 
to see what's gonna happen next, especially the whole Henry Kate Sawyer, uh, who's the last one, Jack storyline. Like, oof, 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 oof. That's good. I'm really intrigued by that. Like, that's really, really fun. So, yeah, I'm very excited for season three. Like, the way this ended, quite crazy. So, yeah, this was a fantastic season, a fantastic finale. I am beyond hype for season three like holy hell very very excited and yeah i really really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction thank you so much for watching and as always a huge huge shout out goes out to all my patreons for supporting me thank you guys so much you guys are the best i really appreciate every single one of you and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye I tried so hard, but all these scars they cut so deep I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my...